So you want to adapt a lens to your camera that is not natively designed for your camera. Well, these can all be explained with the word flange distance. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you which lenses can be adapted to other cameras by explaining flange distance. Coming up. Hi guys, my name is Paul. I'm a German-based cinematographer and this channel is all about filmmaking gear reviews but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe. That really helps the channel. Thank you. So in this video, we are, we are talking about flange distance or focal flange distance, which basically means the distance between your camera sensor and the rear element of your lens. This is really, really crucially important because that is needed to achieve critical focus and that everything is sharp here on your image. So we have to address now a topic which is mirrorless cameras and older DSLR cameras and also the mounts that we have on those cameras. So mirrorless cameras nowadays, for example, as the Lumix S52X here, has a short flange distance on the L mount. Other older cameras, such as the EF mount, has a longer flange distance, for example, like the Canon 5D or something like that. So, for example, the Canon RF mount has a flange distance of 20 millimeters, whereas the EF mount has a flange distance of 44 millimeters. So, and the easiest way to explain everything is that you can adapt lenses which are designed for a longer flange distance to cameras that have a short flange distance. So what this basically means, you can use your L-mount camera here and can put on like old EF glass or you can put on PL glass because those ones have a, those lenses are designed for sensors with a long flange distance. It cannot work vice versa, so you cannot put on on a 5D Mark IV, for example, an RF lens, for example. That simply doesn't work. Also, Micro Four Thirds is known as a short flange distance camera. So, what is the advantage of this? So, for example, if you adapt lenses, then you have a very a whole new lens choice that you can put on your camera. So you can not only put your native lenses on your camera, you can also get old cheap vintage glass, for example, as this um, iron glass or this uh, Helios 44 that I have here. You can use cinema lenses which are designed for PL by using a PL adapter. So the only disadvantage is there that sometimes that there's no data trans transferred through the adapter. So that is something you have to keep in mind. And also autofocus probably won't work as reliable if it even works as on your native lenses. So that is also something to consider. So let's talk about the adapters that we have. First and foremost, I want to talk about speed boosters. For example, this is a term that Metabones has designed and a speed booster is just a focal reducer, but it's also an adapter that's taking advantage of the short flange distance. For example, here I have the MFT mount on the Pocket 4K. And if I'm put on, putting on the speed booster, then I now have not only the MFT field of view, which is 2x, I'm getting a much wider field of view, which is very close to full frame. It's about 1 to 1, 3x, something like that. And this one has on the front an EF mount. So now I can just put on here my EF lens and yeah, the distance between the rear element of the lens and the sensor which is hidden in here will be around 44 millimeters or must be 44 millimeters so that's why that this works basically but there are also other adapters just like pass-through adapters this one is a so-called dump adapter there's nothing in it no electronics nothing it's just adapting from mft to EF, so there's just nothing in it. And I can use now EF glass without like the speed boosting effect. 
if that's something that you want you can also use that and that works perfectly fine however there are also some very cool adapters which these are here from mikey that i have here this is a pl adapter and as you can see they have a variable ND filter inside so this is pretty cool so you don't have to put on an ND filter in front anymore so this is also an advantage this, that these adapters will give you and on the front we have a very sturdy whoop, PL mount <laughs> this is for example PL to RF but we also have PL to L mount so I can just to demonstrate you put this adapter onto here and then I just can use a PL glass or so professional cinema glass on this camera also anamorphic something like that and I don't have to worry about ND filters anymore because it's already built into the adapter which is pretty awesome so in summarize you just have to remember one thing so you can adapt lenses to your mirrorless cameras that are designed for a longer flange distance. It is not possible to do it vice versa. So the flange distance is always important. So you can adapt older lenses to your newer cameras, so to say. So on this one, I can use PL glass, I can use EF glass, I can use old Nikon glass, I can use like the Helios glass. So the list, is, the list is endless basically. But if I have an old camera, for example, 5D Mark IV, something like that, which has a native EF mount, then I cannot use, for example, an L mount because that one is designed for a short flange distance. It just physically won't work. And this is also especially important if you are seeking for a new camera, basically. For example, the new Blackmagic Pixels will come out in three different mount options. L mount, PL and EF. I personally would advise to only get the L mount version because with this one you have a much bigger lens choice, basically. You can adapt to PL, you can adapt to EF. With the other two options, you are stuck to EF only or to PL only. You cannot adapt to other lenses. This is the big disadvantage. So therefore, that would be my recommendation. I hope I demystify now everything for you. If you have any further questions, you know the game, just drop them down in the comments below. And I'm gonna see you in my next one. Cheers.